What do you think about your driving overall? I think today is just poor. Uh, what kind of mark would you give yourself out of 10? Like a 3. Yeah, but even I've got a headache after that one. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another driving lesson with Rajan and uh, today's driving lesson is on a topic which a lot of learners assume is going to be quite easy but um, yeah, to be honest, I've seen so many people mess up um, when doing this topic, yeah. And what do we agree? What's today's topic? Uh, following the sat-nav. Following the sat-nav, yeah. This is something that I recommend you do towards the end of your driving lesson journey, yeah. Okay, so um, this is what probably the last, we've got one or two more lessons before Rajan is totally, totally independent, yeah. Okay, yeah. so um, following the sat-nav, um, rather than me explaining stuff throughout uh, his driving journey, Rajan has been using the ultimate driving course. So he watches the lesson, watches, watches the videos, yeah. So he's watched the video on the sat nav today. So it saves me time taking out books and explaining everything, yeah. That's the whole point of the ultimate driving course, yeah. So what did you learn? Uh, so, firstly, with the sat nav, it's important that like you don't keep staring at it whilst you're driving because it can be like a big distraction. Yeah. And also, um, at the top, it's gonna have your yards and like how far you are, how far you are away from your next turn. So obviously, you wanna like wait till usually maybe if it's like a 30 miles per hour, you'll wait till like a hundred um, yards or so, and then that's when you'll start to do your mirrors and signal. And then also, it's it's important that like you just listen to exactly what it's saying. Um, because I would like that's what's needed for you to make the right exit and stuff and then um, Yeah from that it also might have the route numbers and you can pay attention to that on the floor and Yeah, yeah, like you said the yard the distance is really yeah. important Yeah, because at, at this stage you're driving like you're used to us guys saying Turn left and then you start your mirror signal new routine then yeah. yeah with the sat nav like I explained in the video It can give your instructions quite early yeah. yeah, and like you said, listen to the instructions, and then you know what you learned last lesson, looking at the signs. Yeah, yeah. So don't just rely on the sat nav. Listen to it, and then look at the sign as well. Yeah, yeah tell you it, select your lane. Yeah, it might not always say like uh, which turn it is. That's it. What number like. exit yeah. around, but it doesn't always. Um, it, it might tell you the number exit, but it might not tell you which direction or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. So that's why I like to do this. Yeah, just alongside the. Um, following the signs like we did last lesson yeah so you yeah. can you can see the difference yeah and like I mentioned in last lesson make sure you guys are um, comfortable comfortable with following signs before you move on to following the sat nav yeah yeah okay so, so yeah. don't just rely on that you know what you learned last lesson okay use that as well yeah yeah right so um with the uh, amount of help, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, yeah. So Ro I'm not gonna say to you, oh, look, our next turn is so far and this and that, because it's yeah. the aim from two, yeah. So yeah. I'll just ask you questions, yeah? Okay, and, yeah. and like you said, don't stare at it, yeah? Take yeah. glances, and then obviously, you, you need to be looking ahead and look out for signs, yeah? Yeah, Okay, fine. so yeah. level of help, I'll just stumble start off with the question, yeah? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, rather than me fully, fully talking you through it. Yeah. Do you need any help with anything else? Uh, no, nah, that's okay. Cool, so, um, the main responsibility now lies with you. Yeah, you're at that stage where you can obviously control the car. We've covered most of the stuff. Last yeah. lesson, you did the sign falling, went pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Whenever you're ready, then Raj, if you could uh, move off for me, please. So, so how far is our next turn? Uh, half a mile. Good. That's it. Don't get any stop, stop. Don't get any close. You know, with the larger vehicles, the lorries, yeah. Yeah. Make sure you can see its side mirrors, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, if you fine. can't see the side mirrors, they're saying if you can't see the side mirrors, the driver can't see you. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Sometimes you see those stickers on the back of lorries as well. You gotta say, if you can't see my side mirrors, I can't see you. You can still hold back, you're getting too close. Hold back, hold back. I sit there. Good. Even here, it's fine. That's perfect. How's your revision going? You've been having exams in that, haven't you? Yeah, it's good. I got, um, Two Monday. You're two on Monday? Yeah. 
for business and engineering. So you're going to spend the rest of your weekend revising? revising. Yeah. The engineering one though, I'm not too fussed because it's a reset. And my grade already was okay, so... But business is, that's a fresh paper, so... I'm more focused on that rather, rather than the other one. Okay. The annoying thing is though, it's both like, both in the same day. So I've got one at 9ish in the morning and then one at like 12 or 1. So that's more or less straight after. Which one's the first one? Is it the recent one or the fresh one? Nah, it's the recent one. The recent one's first? Yeah. You'd rather have that second, yeah? Yeah. So you should have the fresh but one, then you can revise for it, and then the rest of the hours you can use for that. Yeah. But the good thing about reset is, like, say whatever grade I got last time, If I, even if I file this paper, my grade won't change. Oh. You reckon you could beat your previous grade if you tried? Yeah, if I revise properly, but I don't think... Like, last time, that was the only exam I was having, so I put a lot more revision into oh, it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I reckon it'll probably be the same. But I just thought I might as well, like, because even if it does go bad, it doesn't affect, but if I get better, I get better. Okay, while we're waiting, what could we have used here? Uh, my handbrake. Yeah. Then, good mirrors. So, how far is your team now? Uh, it is 460 yards. That's it. Just get familiar, like, how far, like, 400 yards off, how far 500 yards off? Yeah. 100 yards off. After 300 yards, turn right. So see, 300 yards would be too early to start your signal on that, yeah? Yeah. So to do your signal on a mirror and signal where you normally would, yeah? Yeah. Now, so you see, you're around the 100 yard mark, aren't you? Turn yeah. right. Remember that's okay for when you're doing like you know normal roads they like um, built up in a built up area. Yeah. Yeah. But say you could drive in on a dual carriage at 50 miles an hour, it obviously have to be earlier then, yeah. Yeah. So what distracted you? What you, what you, mean? you said you got distracted by a car. Yeah, by the... Is that why you didn't go? Because you got distracted? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. And the car distracted you? Yeah. Now, the, the reason I realised to go... Uh, I weren't paying attention first. It was just when I realised I could have gone because the car was going right. In the car ahead? The yeah. Opposite, yeah. So the first car is going that way. It's good to like not go when the first car is going, but you see the two cars behind it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, see, you're at the level now where I'm not going to be helping you and giving you these prompts. Yeah. Yeah. So unless that keeps happening, then I will have to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to lower the level, do we? No. Good. So I'm going to leave it to you. But then, if you had waited any longer, it's holding up the traffic behind and that as well. Yeah. And there shouldn't be any part in your drawing where you're not paying attention, yeah? Like I said, because we've passed over most of the responsibility to you now, yeah? Yeah. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit, then sharp left. Which way are you going after this roundabout? Uh, then we're going third exit again as well. Let's go. Go, go, go. Third exit again? No, it just said then sharp left. Oh. Which mirrors? Sharp 
left. That's it. So it did say to you twice the sat nav, yeah. Yeah. This one remember that you're not paying attention and listening carefully. Yeah. yeah. Because there's two roundabouts close together here, you gotta be like you gotta pay a lot of attention to make sure you you have listened to the instructions, yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't know where you're going, as soon as you come off, you're gonna be lost. about your mirrors yeah so when were you supposed to start checking your mirrors as soon as i've gone past the second exit yeah gone past it or, or whatever normally to well, so in line with it. yeah as soon as you start to reach it check your mirrors not even just at that point even beforehand no. okay and why is it important to check your mirrors at that uh, point see if there's any cars in that lane before you move over that's it good after 400 yards cross the roundabout second exit so if you look at the sign on the top, which way does your turn look? It looks like the left. Yeah. So you said second exit, yeah. yeah. So if you look at this sign now, which way is the second exit? Straight over. That's it. You understand the importance of listening to that then looking at the signs? Yeah. Yeah. So obviously that's run by a, um, a satellite, yeah. It is going to be, it is like shaped as a left hand, but you're going to select your lanes and do your signals according to the signs, the road signs, yeah. okay? Cross the roundabout, second exit. Well then, step to your lane well. Which way is it? Uh, straight over. That's it, good. Cross the roundabout, first exit. So because we're going straight ahead, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not a major thing, you didn't have to signal on the approach because it was straight ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And because it was the first exit and you did signal, it doesn't really matter because we haven't really confused anyone. Yeah. yeah. So remember for straight ahead, do you normally signal left on approach? No. That's it. So I should just wait till I got closer. Yeah. After entering the roundabout. How far is the next turn? It's 500 yards. Yeah. And what is it? Is it left turn, right turn? After 400 straight yards, over. That's cross it, good. the roundabout, first exit, then keep right. So what do you say after the exit? Keep where? Keep right. Cross the roundabout, first exit, then keep right. So, 
How far is the next 10? Uh, one and a half miles. Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to stop following the sat nav for a bit. I'll tell you when, yeah. We're going to follow the sat nav, yeah, yeah. and um, to, and we're going to turn right at the like it's saying. Would he still be okay to drive in that lane? If the right going to turn right, yeah. yeah. If we were still following the sat nav now, yeah, it would. How far is your turn? A mile. Yeah, you so you think that's okay to to go into your lane, stay in the right lane a mile before your turn? If if we're still going to turn right, yeah. So how far is that turn? A mile. A mile, so you think it's okay to drive in the right hand lane for a mile? Oh no, I mean, I mean, you can anyway, but we always keep to the left. You can anyway. What does that mean? You, so it's okay to drive in the right hand lane or not, like for that turn? Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about this in it. Take this exit now. Don't brake too much, off the brake, off the brake, that's it. So don't follow the sat nav now, yeah. At this roundabout turn right. Second exit here to the right. Just remember to check the mirrors before you start moving this side, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's like you move and check the mirrors together there. At this roundabout turn right, fourth exit please. It was a full thing fourth. Okay, so what I was trying to tell you, yeah, no, again, I, I realised what it was. Yeah. Uh, so what was it? What was the point that I was trying to get at? You know, when we was coming off left, I just, I basically just underestimated how much mile is. I don't know what I was thinking. After three hundred yards, make yes, sense to me. Turn right. I think I was just like turn right. A four mile was more than how it was for just that time being. I don't know what it was. Okay. We'll talk about it when we park up, yeah. I want to make a clear point for any learners that are watching as well, yeah? No, keep going, sorry, keep going, keep going. Ignore the sat-nav for now. Turn right at the lights. Turn right, then turn right. You heard a lot going on with your revision and everything, yeah? I do find that, you know, people have exams, learners, yeah. yeah, it does take a, the edge of off their driving, if you know what I mean, <laughs> it's like their focus is, I know you got like, you're thinking about your exams and that as well, yeah, but please just try and focus on the driving for now. Turn right, then turn right. No, no, don't, don't follow the side until I tell you to, yeah. Yeah. Okay. See how much of a distraction it can be anyway when it's on. Yeah. At this roundabout, turn right, second exit. Which mirrors? That's it. I just feel, you know, on the roundabouts today, you know, your mirrors. Yeah, it's too late. They're, they're, because the other lesson, I've seen you on the last few lessons, you've been like proper on it with your mirrors and everything. Yeah. yeah. Remember to continue counting the exits and, and check those mirrors in time. Don't just check them right at the end when you're going to about to exit, check them beforehand as well. Yeah. yeah. There's a gap on the left. Yeah, if you can just park up in that gap, please. Behind this? No, further, further on. Further, further on, behind the white van. That's it. A 
Let's find that. Okay, so you find it so far? I find it's okay, I just think my driving has just been slow. Yeah, how do you think the sat nav, like, let's just focus on the, the topic, the, the sat nav, um, do you feel it is a distraction? Uh, when we're following it, not so much. Okay. Then, then it's okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, you know the point that I was trying to make? On uh, We were on the dual carriageway. Yeah. yeah. At 10, was still over a mile away. Yeah. Yeah. You did come back to the left. Good, because at, at that point, you said, look, we're not going to follow the sat-nav for now. Yeah, because that would have led yeah. us on to, to near the motorway. Yeah, or we would have got, um, uh, gone to a different route. But then, what I was trying to say, like, so if you were following the sat-nav and your train is a mile away, yeah? A mile away. Yeah. Is it okay to position in the right-hand lane and continue driving in the right-hand lane if your train's a mile away? If, but then if we're just going to carry on to wherever we're going? No, you, so say say you were following the sat nav. Yeah, yeah, the sat nav was saying in a mile we're turning right. Yeah, yeah. You had to choose the two lanes there that went straight for road that that led up to that roundabout for a mile. Yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously to turn right, we need, we need the right hand lane, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So would it be okay to get into the right hand lane a mile early? Do you think? A um, mile. But a mile early? Yes, like, uh, you know, on the sat nav, how far did you say our turn was? It was a mile. A mile. So do yeah. you think it's okay? So if our turn's a mile away, yeah, and you know you're turning right, do you think it's okay to go into the right-hand lane and drive in the right-hand lane? Yeah. No. It, but That's way too early. No, but I mean, like, as in general driving or... No, you know the turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't get the... <laughs> okay, so, right. You, you know on the sat nav, yeah, yeah. forget that we turned off. Yeah, yeah. We, we were on a dual carriage, weren't we? Yeah. You came into the left lane, which you said was good. Yeah. Yeah, said we're not going to follow the sat nav anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't say that. So we're following the sat nav. Yeah. Yeah. You got a, you're on the dual carriage, right? Dual carriage, you've got two lanes, haven't you? Yeah. And you just seen the sat nav says you're turn, we're turning right at a roundabout and your turn is in one mile. Yeah. Yeah. So would you keep driving in the left hand lane and change lanes at a later stage? Or do you think when it says one mile, I can go into the right hand lane? Yeah, I'm nah, right. Now nah, then we'd stay in the left hand lane. Why? And because then we're not overtaking or going faster. Yeah. And the other fact, one mile is like pff, quite a distance. A mile is really far. Yeah. yeah. I think I got confused when you said it was a mile, and then we came off there. Now I, I told you, I told you about three times. Ignore yeah. that that we came off. Yeah. yeah. What I'm trying to get at is the fact that if you see, yeah, if you get instructions to turn right. Yeah, like yeah. the sat was giving us instructions that we're turning right in a mile. Yeah, you do not go into the right hand lane. Yeah, that early. That's way too early. Yeah, to get into the right hand lane. No, but then I'm saying, how come? Why would other people be in the right hand lane? Th that's that's up to them. But yeah. you, you know, the dual carriageway was on. Was it just going to lead to that roundabout? Yeah. The, so th that dual carriage. It, that, that deal carriage you could lead up to the roundabout, it could have other exits off, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the simple fact that don't confuse it too much, yeah. The simple fact, the simple thing that I'm trying to get at is, yeah, you know if you're turning if the sat nav says to you you're turning right in a mile. Yeah. You don't change lanes for that turn a mile. Yeah, yeah, really. no, nah, I know that's, that's too it. early. But was, I just thought if you're gonna take the right exit, say if we're ignoring the rule that we always keep to the left. But why would you ignore that rule? No, I'm, I'm not on about driving, I was just on about in, like, not the driving lesson, just in general. What, what, not, not for us, I no. Don't mean, no what do you mean in general? Because I thought you was just asking, would it be okay to use the right-hand lane? As in just like... like a, uh, yeah, would it be okay to use the right-hand lane a mile early for your turn? What if we was just like... If you're turning right in a mile? What, there's no difference in general driving in a driving lesson. You're learning how to drive, yeah. Okay, so the same rules, so... Uh, I don't, know, I don't have the mind to that, we're just doing this for a test or a lesson and generally it's okay to drive there. Yeah, no, I know that, but if it only leads up to the roundabout, is it, then isn't it fine? Oh, it's, then it's fine driving the right-hand lane, you're if, saying? If, if you, you, you got to hit the right-hand exit. So, you, you, so you know when we're turning right to a roundabout, you do need the right-hand lane. Yeah. But going into your lane a mile early is way too yeah, early, because then you're preventing people from doing what? From overtaking. Exactly. 
What's the right hand lane used for? It's used for overtaking. Overtaking, good, and turning right. So we do need to get in, we do need to get into that lane. Yeah. Yeah, but we can't go into a, a lane a mile before you turn. Yeah, no, nah, I get that. That's it. That's all I want you to get. So what? What? what, what uh, it's what it's the, just the point about that. If it's if it's just leading up to a roundabout, yeah. Then if we're staying in the right hand lane. It wouldn't make a difference. It, it would because a, a mile before. So you're saying you're in that mile. Do you think nobody wants to overtake you? No, people do bars up. So that's for like people who are gonna go above the speed limit and everything else. The, the, the people. So I think what you're trying to say is, if you're doing the speed limit 50, no one's allowed to overtake you anyway. Yeah. Uh, do you think people stick to the speed limit? No, they don't. Exactly. So, but. Bottom line is, yeah, doesn't matter what you're doing, the speed limit wise, yeah, yeah, okay. You're not going to get into the the right hand lane a mile beforehand, okay, yeah, That's yeah? Fine. yeah, you get that, yeah, okay. Then we kind of overcomplicated it more than um, we need to there, but still, let's uh. Let me just draw it out as well, yeah. Okay. Because I want to make sure you, you you totally understand the simple point that I'm trying to make, yeah. So, here's a roundabout, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And... Say, we were, we were here. We, we were... We were there, yeah? And there's yeah. a whole mile. Obviously, this looks closer on the picture, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this would be, if this is a mile, that'd be too early. Yeah. yeah. Even if you're doing 50 miles an hour, yeah. People might behind you might not be doing 50. They want to overtake. Yeah. So which lane should you be in? None the left one. You, you should always be driving in the left, yeah. And when, um, normally, if you're driving at 50 miles an hour, around the 400 yard mark, that's when you're going to think about coming over to the right hand lane. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people do that on the sat nav. Yeah, they see their turn. Oh, I'm turning right, so I might as well stay in the right hand lane. That's what you yeah. were thinking as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do not do that. Now I get that. Obviously, people are going to want to overtake us, but I think it's just when you asked the question, I thought. Now, but but even afterwards, we've just discovered that you 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 were thinking if I'm doing the speed limit, yeah, people are not allowed to overtake anyway. You can't think that either. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. I have people think exactly, that's why it's so important, that's why I'm making that point, we're going around, we're going over it again and again, so you understand. Yeah. And for those of you watching guys as well, this is where a lot, I see a lot of people, you know, on some of the mock tests have been messed up as well, because um, of, there's, a, there's a few routes where as soon as they go into du dual carriageway, it's saying keep right, because you're retaining right in about a mile's time. Yeah. And what learners do, they'll get into the right hand lane a mile before the turn and they and there's people overtaking the going around that side because they the, the turn's too far away still yeah yeah and that would be a serious driving fault here yeah, yeah. on your actual test or for your normal driving position that's why the, you know what i keep going on about the distances yeah yeah on the sat nav is so so important you understand yeah yeah that's good <sighs> that took a lot of uh, effort and energy <laughs> okay right so i'm gonna put a i'm just gonna change the address in this now yeah yeah Okay, move off uh, when you're ready. You will arrive at your destination at 3.26 p.m. Check that blind spot again, right? So there, yeah, you know when someone's waiting, like, don't get put under pressure. You still yeah. need to do your checks, don't feel you have to rush off, yeah? yeah. You've done nothing wrong. We weren't blocking anyone or anything, yeah. Yeah. After and 300 yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. And see there, you um, let go of your handbrake quickly when there's a car overtaking. You didn't go, but the car rolled back slightly. Then you better forget that right blind spot check again. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. Following the sat nav now. Yeah. Shall I leave it to you? Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah? Yeah. Go 
right on the roundabout, second exit. You think we could have gone there? Yeah. Yeah. So let's edge forward a bit more now. Edge forward a bit. Again, look for those cars that we call the blockers, yeah? Yeah. Well done. Take the exit. Which signal do we need? The right one. Left one? No, the left, yeah. But even back then? Yeah, I got confused because... Check that mirror again. So you did check your left mirror, but you signal right. Yeah, yeah you did you did, the, you did it at the right time as well. Yeah. yeah, as soon as you pass the first exit, you After got level with it. You checked it. Yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. So what route number are we taking? So you can look out for that as well, yeah, as well as following the instructions. the route that we did last lesson when we were following the signs yeah okay yeah. the reason why I'd like doing the same one is like you can see the difference with the sat nav instructions and when we were following the signs yeah. yeah so which way does your next turn look like is which way does it look like it looks like it's right yeah. route number after 400 yes, yards same. cross the roundabout third exit what number exit third so if you look at the sign which way is the third exit that's straight over that's it you understand the difference yeah Mirror check. Cross the roundabout, third exit. George, you asked, did, did I help you out a little bit at this roundabout? Yeah, just wanted you to like see, look at the sign again. The exit. After yeah. 200 yards, cross the roundabout, third exit. Cross the roundabout, third exit. Go 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 go. How can we 
the brake there. This goes as sort of guy stopping for red lights. And then I thought the cars from the side would go, but then I realized but it's controlled by traffic lights, the one we put in. What could have happened there? Because the car behind me could have hit me. Yeah, they could have gone into the back of us there, yeah. yeah. Even I wasn't expecting that at all. Even when we're waiting at the light chair, see that's where that planning should go in. You should have realized there and then this is the control where traffic light chair. When yours are green, yeah. their lights on the right are gonna be what color? Red. Yeah. Still look out for any like emergency vehicles, yeah. but there, there wasn't anyone there. in the markings and good reaction there cross the roundabout second exit okay let's position more forward and to the left as well that's it see you know the outer lane like ours yeah it's always positioned a bit more forward so you can see yeah okay yeah. press the cars on your right If you'd position where you did, the, the car next is going to block your view, yeah? Yeah. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout, first exit. Gear falls fine. Second exit. Yeah. Get, get your keep right. Get your gear, yeah, according to your speed. You're only at like 35, 36 miles an hour. Yeah, it's too early for gear five. Okay. Did you hear what the sat nav said? Yeah, go straight off. And then cross the roundabout. Right. Second yeah, exit. Then keep right. So then look, there's two lanes. Right. Yeah. Can we use the right hand lane to turn right? Uh, to to go straight ahead, sorry. Uh yeah. Yeah, good. So even if you wanted, yeah, because of what the sat nav said, you could have used that lane and exited off in the right hand lane as well. Yeah. yeah, so you're in you're in the correct lane for where we're going next. But doing it this way is okay as well. Yeah. After 100 yards, keep right, then turn right. So keep right, then turn right. So you understand what uh, what I said to that roundabout? Turn right, okay. then bear <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing at the sat-nav, doesn't get, be quiet. So you know at that roundabout, yeah? Yeah. On the approach to the roundabout, the sat-nav instructed us to go straight ahead at the roundabout, then keep right. Yeah, so that means after the roundabout, we're, we're, we're turning right, yeah. So even if you wanted to there, you, you could have used the right-hand lane as well. Yeah, yeah so we would have just stayed like... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you use the right-hand lane on approach, keep to the right-hand lane, okay? Yeah. But the way you did it here, that's fine as well. Okay. 
as long as your right hand's not a mile away after the round of it. <laughs> You sure you understand that, yeah? Yeah, I do know. <laughs> Keep to the right. You're driving over this white line here, preventing the cars from overtaking. Keep to the right. See what that lane is doing there? Yeah. Yeah? See how they're in that lane? That's exactly what you were doing over there. So what would happen if you're if there's a lorry next to you? Well, and it was trying to... And, and you're driving in that lane about that much? It wouldn't be able to overtake me. Yeah, what if it was next to you? Oh, and no, you're it would hit it. Yeah. And that car, that, that was an example of one or two. That's, that's just what you were doing earlier. Yeah. yeah. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination. And if you could just park up anywhere safe on the left, please. You have reached your destination. A bit more to the left, a bit more. That's it, I'll do that. So, do you know I should steer a bit more to the left? Ah, uh, because it was sticking out too much. Yeah. Okay. Right, switch off the engine. So, um, yeah, uh, on that deal, carriageway, when you were trying to select gear 5, what speech did you select gear 5? Uh, when I'm around like mid 40s, late 40s. Yeah, yeah about four, just over 40, yeah. You, yeah. Were, you were under 40, you're about 36, I think, yeah. yeah. Miles an hour, yeah. And it was a hill as well. Yeah. And as you change gears, What's the hill going to do to the speed of your car? Uh, decrease it. Yeah, so it's going to decrease even more while you ready to select gear 5. So just think about the timing of the gear, yeah, and the grade, the gradient of the road as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right, um, so our main aim was to get used to following the sat-nav. Do you think you got used to following the sat-nav? Yeah. Yeah, so that, I think that goal will be achieved, yeah. Okay, so I think you can follow the sat-nav without my help, but it just, you realise it can be a distraction. Yeah, yeah. you better know your distances. Yeah, and just continue looking out for the signs more as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. like you were doing. You, you see the difference? Like sometimes you look like a right hand on there or a left hand, yeah. but according to the signs and markings, it was straight ahead. Yeah, that yeah. that that's the main difference. I want you to realize that is. Yeah, what do you think about your driving overall? I think today is just poor. Uh, what kind of mark would you give yourself out of 10? Like a three, four. Okay, no, I wouldn't go that low, but it, it can be better. But this is what happens. About it's not your fault, yeah. It is. It's like it, it's a lesson for like it's not just for your test and driving, guys. You guys watching as well, yeah. You know, gen generally, you know, if you're having, if you've got extra pressure about something, you, know, you got your exams. You said you got two exams on Monday. Yeah. yeah, you've been revising for 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 those. Yeah, and you come out for a lesson. Yeah, I used to. I well, not used to. Um, you know when uh, Lena used to have the exams, I used to actually, some of the lessons we used to like leave out for for uh, that period. Yeah. Because I used to find like, you know, first season, why is this happening? So all of a sudden like, people who are good drivers, they're driving really, everyone's making mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, and it was, it's because like, it's it's not just while you learn to drive, you know, after you pass as well. You know, if you've got extra pressure, extra stress about something, it yeah. will affect you, your driving. Yeah? yeah okay and um so just always bear that in mind that you know how you're feeling before you drive yeah yeah has a massive impact on your driving yeah. okay so you've always got to make sure you're in a good mindset for for driving yeah yeah okay and if you're not then you know you have to be extra extra careful yeah, okay that's fine, yeah. yeah but even i've got a headache after that <laughs> 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 just messing with you but um yeah at least we still achieved our goal yeah, yeah? um like I said, the reason why I'm always going to be now saying 
See, I don't even have to say it. You said it yourself. Yeah, you, 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 you could have been better because we know you can drive a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. You started like off with your roundabouts as well and not checking your mirrors in, mirrors in, uh, in time and that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we know you're at a better standard of driving now. And I think we just got one more um, manoeuvre left and then mock test after that. Or I just leave it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then once your mock tests are going fine, then we start looking for a cancellation test. Eh? Yeah. yeah. So next lesson, forward bay parking. How are you gonna get ready for the forward bay parking? That's the only maneuver we haven't covered yet. Yeah. Yeah. And we've obviously we've got to do the emergency stop. Um, but yeah, we'll do the forward bay parking. Uh, next lesson. You okay with that? Yeah. So how are you gonna prepare for that? Uh, ultimate triangles. That's it. Yeah. So just watch yeah. the video, and please revise everything you see in that, please. Yeah. Okay. Your exams are gonna be over by then, or have you got more? Nah, they'll be over by. I got some in like February. March time. Well, okay, that's right. February, I think. And just more because then by next week, really. So, yeah. is the only Monday you got the exams? Yeah. Yeah, but we're going to um, uh, film uh, way after then, anyway. Okay. Any questions? No. Cool. So, guys, hope you found that lesson useful. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.